Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Sawadee Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mistanza, and I hope you're staying dry out there. This is the news you need to know. The Thai government is taking steps to gain access to encrypted internet data of users around the country, though they say they're going to need a court order, always. The draft amendment of the Computer Crimes Act is currently being mulled over by the National Legislative Assembly, which allows for the removal of, quote, content deemed illegal by the court. But critics say the law would be used to violate users' rights on social media, financial transactions, and more. But the Minister of Information and Communication Technology denied those claims yesterday, saying there will be steps in place to prevent the government from overreaching. A sad story out of Bangkok as the police have a 19-year-old temple boy in custody after he confessed to killing and burning the body of the old man who offered him a home and 30,000 baht a month. The teen had met his 58-year-old victim just less than a month ago. The teenager told police that the man, named Sompong Bunyuen, was bossy by wanting to eat together at the same time, making him walk beside him, and forcing him to go to a party together. An argument ensued, and the teen admitted he stepped on the man's neck, killing him, then trying to cover his tracks by burning the body at the temple where the teen previously lived with his monk grandfather. And progress will be made on handling human trafficking cases. That's a promise by Prime Minister Prayut chan -ucha, which he made yesterday in front of foreign dignitaries at an event to mark Stop Human Trafficking Day in Bangkok. Last year's disturbing discovery of abandoned migrant camps with mass graves in southern Thailand led authorities to identify 150 suspects. But only 89 were arrested and 34 were punished. The PM says they've spent 2.6 billion baht in battling human trafficking last year, which helped cut the illegal transport of Rohingya migrants into the kingdom from 25,000 last year to just over 6,000 projected in the next few months. And sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Get into wakeboarding with Wild Wave, based at Royal Phuket Marina. Wakeboarding, wake surfing, and even kneeboarding. Here's a full range of packages for everyone. Wild-Wake.com Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A new report says wildlife officials have in possession a document that links the now infamous Tiger Temple to illicit trafficking of wildlife. Authorities are investigating to see if the temple and the monks who run it used the tourist attraction as a transition point for tiger trafficking. Meanwhile, the abbot in charge of the tiger temple, Luang Tachan, is expected to come out of hiding and speak to the media on Thursday to, quote, tell his side of the story. Officials are in the midst of wrapping up the relocation process of all 149 tigers from the temple to breeding centers in Ratchaburi, though nearly 2,000 wild animals still remain at the temple. And it almost happened again. A family in Patumtani are breathing a sigh of relief after their 27-year-old male relative had a close encounter with a 1.2 meter long cobra coming out of the toilet. The man was sitting on the toilet when he realized the slithery cobra was coming for him and he quickly got out of the way and called rescue volunteers who fetched it out. This comes just two weeks after a python came out of a toilet and bit the penis of a man in Chanchoing Sao province. And that's it for all of us here at Phuket Extra. Join us again tomorrow on Wednesday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. The Iris Pool Villa. 12 luxurious private pool villas with options of daily and long-term rentals or sale. Go to irispoolvilla.com or Facebook Iris Pool Villa.